All right, so this is the first goal scored of the game, courtesy of Orlando City's Duncan Maguire. And Joaquin Torres, prior to this, had given up a free kick around the halfway circle. And so Orlando's just going to go ahead and play this ball into Mauricio Pereira. And you can see balls on your screen. Jose Martinez is going to go ahead and play the ball on Pereira. And you have Jack Elliott on Martin Ojeda. Uh, highlighted is the space that Ojeda is going to run into. And th the thing on this play, Jack Elliott should have been tighter on Ojeda. As soon as Ojeda gets that ball, it's uh, a first time flicking to Duncan Maguire. And it's a beautiful finish by Maguire. But I, I do think all of this could have been avoided. Uh, I'm completely fine with Jose Martinez going to play the ball. And Jack Elliott has to be aware of all that space that Jose Martinez is leading Ojeda into. And it's a quick flick one by Ojeda. And you're going to see here, it's not the greatest first touch by Duncan McGuire. And he, he realizes it, so he's sliding down to try to win that ball back. A little bit unfortunate by Jacob Glesnes that he's not able to win this ball and get it cleared out and the ball falls right back to Duncan Maguire and like I said it's it's a beautiful finish but we'll go ahead and just replay that for you guys and, and, and show you that this flick one by Ojeda makes the whole play. Jack Elliott again just given too much time and space and he didn't need a ton of time to play that flick one. Ojeda as soon as he flicks that ball on to Duncan McGuire. Duncan McGuire is running into that space. He, he knows where the ball is going to be played into. It's a, it's a beautiful touch by Ojeda. That, that's what you get when you pay for these DP-type players. And, and well played to Duncan McGuire to realize, hey, look, my touch isn't the best right here. Let's go ahead and slide in, win this ball back. Unfortunate for Glessness, but goal for Orlando. All right, so this is the second goal of the game. Courtesy by Orlando City's Martin Ojeda. You can see highlighted on your screen Ojeda. And also with the blue circle around them, Jose Martinez. Now, the reason we're highlighting Jose on this play is because he's completely out of position. He shows no urgency to get in the center of the field and follow Ivan Angelo. You can see Orlando City has a ton of space here to run into, to pass into, whatever they want to do in the middle of the field. And the ball eventually finds its way to Cesar Araujo, plays a reversal ball into Angelo. And you can see just no urgency by Jose Martinez, just walking. And that allows Angelo to play the ball into Martin Ojeda. And originally, this is defended well by Jack Elliott. He's keeping Ojeda in front of him. You have Kai Wagner, who is left off, so highlighted on this play. And Ojeda wants to get the ball on his left. And Jack Elliott's aware of that. And he takes a, a slight, a slight little touch to get it onto his left. Shout out to the box goal. And a, a lot of people were giving Joe Bendick stick on social media for this goal given up, but I, I can't blame Joe on this because he has his defenders in front of him, and it's really difficult for Joe to see this ball. He reacts late to it because he has a lot of traffic in front of him. But right here, th this isn't good by Kai Wagner. You see him coming back and, and jumps out of the way of the ball. Y you got to get a block in there. You, you got to do something. Don't jump out of the way of the shot. And Jack Elliott, slow to react to this. Gets turned way too easily. Fantastic finish by Ojeda. And, and this is what you get by designated players. But I, I want to go back. Pay attention to Jose Martinez just, just jogging there in the middle of the field. I believe this whole play could have been avoided if Jose Martinez would have ran to his position in the middle of the field and, and tracked Angelo. But it does not happen. And, and this is a terrific finish, not taking anything away from Ojeda. But this whole play could have been avoided. All right, so this is the third goal of the match. The first by the Philadelphia Union, courtesy of Jack McGlynn, who's highlighted here on the far right side of the field. You're going to see Jack Elliott just carry this ball towards goal. Nobody picks him up by Orlando City. This is typical from the Union center backs. First time cross by Kai Wagner. Finds nobody. And this is good play here by Julian Kranza. J 
just recycling the ball to Bizer to McGlynn. McGlynn's going to recycle it to Jose. The Union aren't forcing anything here. Goes into Leon, and you, you see Jack McGlynn pick his head, looked across to Mikel Ua, back of the net for McGlynn. A, a little bit of contact there from Antonio Carlos on Mikel Ua. Could it have been a penalty? I don't think there's enough in there. And you, you see Mikhail Uwe not getting up to argue this because the goal finds its way in the back of the net. And when you watch this from a, a couple different angles, it, it does kind of look like Jack McGlynn. Is he shooting this? Because this ball is nowhere near Mikhail Uwe or Antonio Carlos. And I know that they're getting all tangled up. But you, you, you look at this. It's not close. And if there wasn't an entanglement between the center back and Mikel, would either one of them have got to this ball? I'm not quite sure. Let's go ahead and watch it again. Great ball in by Jack McGlynn. Takes a bounce. Stadahar is expecting somebody to get ahead on this, whether it be Mikel Uwer or his own center back. And he's just frozen there. And he sees nobody picks this ball up. It bounces right in front of him. And Jack McGlynn gets his first goal of the season. Not close at all there. 2-1 Orlando. All right, and this is the fourth and final goal of the game. The goal scored by Jose Martinez that had everybody on Union Twitter, everybody in the stadium, including the players and the coaching staff, nobody could believe what they have just witnessed. And that is a Jose freaking Martinez goal. Highlighted here on your screen. We're going to see the Union play out of the back. Jack Elliott to Kai Wagner. He's going to find Jack McGlynn here. It's a nice way to pass by Jack McGlynn into Quinn Sullivan. Good recovery by Angelo to force Quinn Sullivan backwards. He's going to go ahead and reset this ball to Kai Wagner. And unlike the first goal that we saw the Union score, this one's rushed. And I get it. It's the dying embers of the game. As you can see on your screen, you have nine players back by Orlando City. And there's not much the Union can do. You, you expect a lot of crosses to come in towards this point in the game. And it's defended well by Orlando City. Ball falls to Jose Martinez. And what a hit. What a hit by Jose Martinez. Mikel Ua's reaction says it all there. Cannot believe what he just witnessed. Jose Martinez hits this on the second bounce. Nothing Stidohara can do. Look at the reaction from the players. They, they, they are stunned. They are so happy for Jose Martinez. Nobody can believe this. Force ball in by Kai Wagner. Not a great cross. On the second bounce, Jose Martinez hits this. And you cannot hit this ball any better. This ball looks like it takes a deflection. But there is no deflection here. No deflection whatsoever by Jose Martinez. For Jose Martinez to be in the right spot here on this play. To hit this. You you cannot hit this ball any better. You cannot teach this. Jose Martinez will never hit a better ball in his entire career. And what a banger it is by Jose Martinez to tie this game up 2-2 for the Philadelphia Union. All right, so I just wanted to highlight the chances here at the end of the game. So four minutes after Jose Martinez scores the game-tying goal, Orlando City is going to go ahead and play out of the back, and they're looking to win this game. And they hit the crossbar with Enrique. You see Julian Kranza tracks all the way back to try to win this ball. He's exhausted. He's given his all. So unfortunate there for Orlando City that Enrique hits the crossbar. But then two minutes later, the Union are going to have a chance, and Mikael Uwer also hits the crossbar. Great switch over to the right side of the field by Jack McGlynn. Great underlapping run by Nate Harrell. This is where the space was, and you can see both teams are so exhausted. Outstanding crossing by Nate Harrell, and terrific flick on by Mikael Uwer. He can't believe it. He can't believe that he hit that crossbar. But th th this is so good by the Union. They, they, they give up a chance. They, they see Orlando City hit the crossbar. Nate Harriel has been playing fantastic. Comes off the bench. Three out of four crosses completed his last three games. Six chances created his last three games. And, and we talked about it on the podcast how this game, the Union only completed five crosses out of 
30. Nate plays a limited amount of minutes off the bench and provides an instant spark, and he's getting more and more comfortable offensively with this team, and he thought he had an assist right here with Mikel, but both teams deserving of a point. 